Hi friends, welcome back to Bonus Time with Bando. I'm Teacher Bando, that's Pee Wee. I've got a buddy here with me. So we're here today to read a story with you. I don't know if Pee Wee is, but I am. I have a very special book I wanna read with you. It's called Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. And it's written by Jonathan Stutzman. You ready to read it with me? It's illustrated by Jay Fleck. That means that's the person who wrote the words. So I'm gonna take off the dust cover and we're gonna get started, shall we? Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. I'm even wearing my dinosaur shirt today. I love dinosaurs. Oh, look at all these dinosaurs. Okay, here we go. Hello, Pointy. Are you okay? No, today I feel sad. I don't wanna play. Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. It's so funny, they gave us like a teaser page. I have tiny arms. It's very difficult to hug with tiny arms. Each day I am growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for a Rex as tiny as me. But I'll try anyway. Pointy needs me. I guess you can't really see with Pee Wee there, huh? Okay, there we go. Pointy needs me. Pointy is his friend, as we learned. Looked like Pointy was a stegosaurus. Where is my father? I'll ask him for advice. Hello, father! Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, mathematics might be the answer to your problem, said his father. Pointy doesn't like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. Hello, Auntie Junip. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, but my arms are too tiny. Well, I have found that balance is the key to every problem. Balance and freshly squeezed cucumber juice. That is disgusting. I'll ask my mother instead. I think, I think he thinks that's disgusting because T-Rexes are carnivores. They don't eat cucumbers. I love cucumbers. I have fallen and now I am lost. I don't think I'm going to find my mother in here. <gasps> Hello, mother. Oh, look at that. It's okay if you can't hug Tiny. You're good at many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are Tiny but your heart is big. I can't hug with my heart, Mom. I must learn to hug with my arms. Hello, sister. Hello, brother. Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. Well, we'd love to help you, Tiny. What are they doing? They're playing ping pong. To do the impossible, you must plan and practice. Practice, woof. Practice, bonk. Practice, plonk. Look at that. Three times their ping pong ball flew off of the table. Well, thank you, Trixie and Rari. That's actually really good advice. Wham! Look at that. See? Tiny's practicing. I will plan my strategy. Look at this. You can see all of the blueprints. I'm just going to hold it up so you can see what Tiny is planning. Very elaborate. You see, they were right. Tiny is very smart, very creative, and is a very deep thinker. Tiny is using his brain. I will get stronger, he says. I will practice very, very hard. I will practice my hugs on everything. <laughs> Uh-oh. Tiny's gonna practice hug on the cactus tree. Oh, ouch, that hurts. I won't practice on that anymore, Tiny says. I am almost ready. I will practice one more time. When I'm done, I'm gonna find my friend. Hmm. This tree is very big, like Pointy. 
I'll hug this tree. Look at that tree. That is a really big tree. Do you notice? There's even a flower growing at the bottom. Let's see. Ah! Wait a minute. That's not a tree. I made a mistake. Please help. From up here, everything looked tiny. Like tiny. He could hug anything he wanted from that height. Look at that giant pterodactyl he was on. Whoa. Now I'm falling. I shouldn't have let go. Now I will never find Pointy. <laughs> Kaplong. Hello, Pointy. Hello, Tiny. I'm here to make you feel better. I have practiced very hard and hugged many things. My arms are still tiny and my hugs are still tiny, but I'll do my very best because you are my very best friend. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Tiny. Hmm. Look at that. Pointy's getting his hug. That was the biggest hug ever. Look at that. They're so happy together. The end. Well, there you go, friends. That was our story about tiny T-Rex and the impossible hug. If you enjoyed this and you want to hear more stories about dinosaurs, I'd love to read some more. We should do that again sometime. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>